Welcome to Cheshire. We're at the foothills of the Pennines near Macclesfield, an old industrial town that's booming again. This week we're facing a common dilemma. Our couple are footloose and fancy free. But with a family in mind, unsure about style or location, they say they'll know it when they see it. Andy and Emily Gorn were just good friends when they bought adjacent flats in this converted hospital. I told him I was buying this flat and the next minute he was uh, getting the other one. Romance blossomed across the hallway and the couple have recently tied the knot. They're now looking to buy somewhere they can start a family. I guess we're quite serious about having kids somewhere down the line, aren't we? Well, we reckon for two years, don't we? Oh, you were feeling quite broody at the weekend, weren't you? <laughs> no. They also need room for their rather sizeable bed. Seven foot ten, six foot three. Well, that's a big bed. So where exactly do Andy and Emily want to live? I think you would like to be closer to the town than I would. Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'd be quite happy in an isolated place. I don't think I'd really like to live really out in the countryside with nothing around you. But have they agreed on the kind of property they want? We don't really have that much of a preference. We're kind of going down the fate path, aren't we? Well, leaving it to fate's one approach, but it may make our job a little tougher. It's a tricky time to buy in Cheshire. There's not a great deal on the market, and what there is sells fast. So our couple need to start making some decisions, and quick. There's various kinds of property to choose from. In Macclesfield itself, there's red brick Victorian terraces, workers' cottages and more modern homes. In the surrounding Peak District, there's remote stone cottages and converted farm buildings. So time to see what Andy and Emily will go for. Hello. Nice Hi, to meet you. Hello, Phil. Hello, Phil. Nice Hi, Emily. Hi. 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 Tell us about the budget that you're prepared to spend on the ideal house. Top end of 220,000. Um, that's for something that we can move into straight away that doesn't need any work. Um, we're also thinking of maybe buying something that does need a bit of work, maybe around the 150,000 mark. That sounds to me like two different properties. Yeah. Which would be your preference? Uh, well, I don't actually have any preference. Right, well, it is an absolutely beautiful day, so I think we should take advantage of the sunshine and go and find the right house. Okay. Make it sounds so easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is easy, Phil. <laughs> yeah, right, Kirsty. They're not sure what they want or where they want it. It's not going to be that easy. Property number one is a Victorian terrace in the heart of Macclesfield and his favourite choice of location. It's got four bedrooms and is on the market at just below £190,000. Now, this house has got numerous reception rooms. This is essentially the front room, which is a, a smallest of the reception rooms, but it's sort of formal. And I want to shove you on forward. This is the dining room. And look, if you look oh, round on your right, they've really opened it up. Tell us your first impressions as you were arriving at the house. Very busy road outside, uh, and yeah. that was the first impressions, but it's, it looks very nice mm, inside. Nice. The reasons why we brought you here, first of all, was to kind of gauge your reaction between the amount of space that's on yeah. offer here versus the clearly busy road outside. Yeah. I want to show you the kitchen because, okay. you know, what they say about it being the hub of the home. <laughs> oh, so they've lovely. obviously put on this extension. And this is fantastic. It is really fantastic, nice. isn't it? It's got a nice slope and ceiling here as well. I can't well, really get to the sink, which is good. How tall are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about six foot five. No, no, no. I, I think you're mistaken, Andy. Come and stand here. <laughs> Above your head, you'll see a beautiful Victorian... Oh, yeah. Stained glass light. And the main bedroom's at the front. Very impressive room. Oh, it's very light, isn't it? Very, very light, light, bright yeah. room. Light. It's Great light. proportions. They don't come much better than this one. They haven't done much work on refurbishing the windows. You can have Victorian sash windows, wooden ones, but double glazed. OK. Yeah. They don't I come cheap, yeah. but they're fantastic. Here we go. Massive room up there. You go on up. Okay. Hey, this is big. Excellent. Very nice. This is actually the first loft conversion I've ever been into that I can stand up. I'm nuts about the house. I know the busy road should put me right Would off, but it just doesn't. Would you trade the road doesn't. for the space? Well, I'm, I mean, you know what I'm like. I'm so pathological about roads. I'm like, oh, but you really don't feel it once you're in the house. I, I think it's really nice. I think it's got all the space that we're after. I think there's, there's quite a lot of potential here. So off to a good start, but there are some concerns about the busy location. Our next property is somewhere much quieter, the sleepy village of Bollington on the outskirts of Macclesfield. This house is close to a river and has a pond in the back garden. It has four bedrooms and is on the market at £189,950. Come in and see what you think. 
and come into the wall. Now, I want to see Andy standing up. Mm. <laughs> it's not as low as I thought it was because you're six foot five, which I is very it. tall, and you wouldn't bump your head. I wouldn't, but it does feel very enclosed. Does it feel yeah, enclosed? It feels enclosed. There are numerous bits and bobs. There's one, two, three occasional tables. There's the two sofas. Get to the point, Cast. Well, it's cluttered. <laughs> it's cluttered. It's cluttered. <laughs> and can give you the impression that it's smaller than it is. But before you make your decision, I okay. know it's probably made in the first 11 seconds. <laughs> I think so. Come yeah. and have a look upstairs. <laughs> upstairs, there's a spacious bathroom with a roll top bath and four decent sized bedrooms. But is there enough room for that bed? As we know, there's a big question for you in every bedroom. Yeah. Will a bed fit in? <laughs> How long is the bed? It's about mm. seven foot ten, I think. We measured it last night, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, seven, seven foot, foot ten. ten. <laughs> <laughs> this is good news, Kirsty. People are watching the show and listening. They're measuring their furniture before coming. <laughs> See, someone listens to you now and again. There's easily room for the bed. There's no doubt about that. Kitchen, small but neatly formed. Oh, it's nice. Nicely done out. Room ceiling's a bit higher. Yeah. Oh, the ceiling is a bit higher. In there. Yeah. Nice porthole window as well. You can hear the, the running water. I suspect this must have been the stream or river that fed the mill. What do you worry about this? There will be a history. If this house has been flooded, it will considerably increase your insurance. Yeah. Oh, I really like this. It's a lovely garden. It's a lovely Very garden, nice. isn't it? It's a nice garden. You're not overlooked at all either, are yeah. you? No, it's quite private. Yeah. Well, lots of talk about floodings and nice gardens, but it comes down to the house. Is it right for you? No. I just feel too big for the house. Yes, I mean, I, I felt the whole house, it wasn't much bigger than the flat we're in at the moment. I think you're paying for the Bollington location, the lovely Lake Georgian house, the yeah. lovely garden. But as you say, if you don't fit into the house, the house is the fat lot of good. OK, our next property's got much more space. It's modern, but we haven't sacrificed period style. Ten miles out of Macclesfield, this cottage in Mobley was built just seven years ago, but using reclaimed bricks. It's on the market for £219,000. Come in. Wow. Oh, this lovely. is nice. I know that when you came up the front door, it wouldn't have occurred to you that this was a new house. It looks like all the other houses, but... As you'll see as you go around, it's essentially a brand new house. It looks amazing from outside, actually. I get a real sense of space inside as well. It's a lot less enclosed than, than the other house that we looked at. I'm not sure about the actual brickwork in the room, actually. It's well, sort of... you could plaster it and paint it quick as a flash. Exposed brick is hugely fashionable. I've not been a fan of it at right. all. What do you think? It feels quite small and and dark. i tell you what I want to do. I want to show you this. Now, on the other side of here is the brick, which you don't like anyway. My suggestion is you get rid of this wall, you get rid of this wall, you open up this whole thing into a kitchen, diner, family room. This house is right at the top of our budget and this would obviously be more, more Absolutely. expensive. Absolutely. I think there may be some negotiation in this house. Yeah. 219 is a little steep. We did actually have a quote worked on removing that wall that Kirsty's been talking oh, okay. about. Yeah. Um, all done, it would be £1,300. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Yeah. Emily, I wanted to show you up here because this is what is essentially the master bedroom. Andy, there's an ensuite to the main bedroom. That's okay. the family bathroom. Yep. Now, Emily, the reason I'm describing this as the master bedroom is because it has an ensuite shower. Oh, wow, well, this is. It's amazing. So different compared to the rest of the house. It's spacier. Although it's under the eaves, it's really good ceiling height, room for the bed, and a rather peculiar addition. In here, you've got a little laundry room. There was a graveyard opposite. Oh, OK. I didn't you? know about that. Um, I actually wouldn't have a problem with that at all, but you'd have to ask Emily. Emily? I don't know if you noticed, but the house looks over a graveyard, and Andy and I are wondering if that would bother you. Um, that's a bit spooky, actually. Well, they did say they wanted somewhere quiet. So, it's the end of day one. How are we doing? We've seen three houses today. Are any of them what you're looking for, or are we barking up entirely the wrong tree? Well, I actually loved the first one. I thought it was excellent. Lots of space, and I really like that room at the top. 
Yeah, I'd agree with you there. The, the first one really stands out. Just had the space that we wanted. You seem to be comparing all the houses on space. And we haven't been talking about style or location. I think the space issue is, is what we're working out is the main thing yep. that we want. I think if we could stretch our fill to six foot five, you would suddenly realize how important the space became. <laughs> <laughs> Major <laughs> So we're narrowing down our...